Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bright orange ombre set using Glam and Glitz and Halo um, Cover Peach. I've applied my tips and now I am coming in with design. So I am coming in with Glam and Glitz, uh, what's it called? Very, very bright orange. It's, it's a luminous orange, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to place it on the nail and just go halfway up and then bring it back down. Just going to put another bead on at the base. Just fade it up the nail. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. It's in the other room. I'm actually in my nail room now and the washing machine is in the kitchen part of the of the nail cabin. Okay, so I'm doing this bright orange on each of the nails. It's, it's this is part of the Colour Pop acrylic collection from um, Glam and Glitz. So I'm just placing a bead on, fading it up the nail, and then just bringing it back down. This is really, really highly pigmented, so please make sure you don't get any on the skin, otherwise it will stain. I hope you're liking my videos, guys, that I've been putting up for you lately. I actually didn't do a set uh, yesterday because I was over in my mum's and um, it's only just uploaded um, today what I did uh, yesterday morning first thing um, so yes so I do apologize we've got we've got one missing but I'm doing this one now for you I love this color one of my clients uh, she actually wants um, this color when we're back reopening so I thought I'd do this set and then I'll send her the picture and let her see it, see if she likes this bright colour. She's actually a hairdresser and she starts back back in work on, uh, is it Saturday? I think it is Saturday, yeah. So yeah. Okay, so getting back to this, what we're doing is we're just going to fade it up the nail, going on each each nail, doing exactly the same. Come in with my bead, press it on, bring it down the nail. Turn my brush around and then just fade it up. It's a lot cooler today, isn't it, guys? Plus, it's been raining most of the day. I'm just going to come in with a little bit more at the bottom and then just bring it down the nail. Turning my brush around, fading it up. Stunning. There isn't much to say about this set. It's just going to be um, peach on top, fading down, and then the orange. And I'm going to come in with some. Uh, glitters from a a Glitter and it is called Summer Sorbet. Absolutely beautiful they are. Really bright coloured um, glitters. It's got gold in, a little bit of pink, orange. Really beautiful. So I'm just going to be doing my little glitter trails and fades and yeah. If there's anything you'd like to see me do guys please just send me a message. I've had quite a few messages now from you guys, which is so nice. A lot of you have been saying now that you're finding it really hard encapsulating. I will be encapsulating some glitters into these nails so you can actually see what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to go over one or two of these because I can see it's a little bit sheer underneath. It's 
better now just give it another quick wash I thought I'd zoom in as well and so you can actually see close up what I'm doing okay we just turn this over okay and then to do the ombre on top I am coming in with halo cover peach so I'm going to come back to this first nail pick up a bead drain the back of it place it on at the cuticle area tap it in and then just bring it down the nail tap it in bring it down watching those side walls it's going to come in with a little bit more I use this as my apex bead Just tap it in and then bring it down from the bottom stunning and then while that is still wet I am going to come in with some of these glitters this is from a and a glitters and this is the um, summer sorbet absolutely beautiful just do the little Misha swoosh usual gorgeous Okay guys, and then we're going to come to this one, then come in again with the cover peach. Okay, tap it in at the back, bring it down the nail. Tap it in, bring it down. And then I'm going to come in with my cuticle bead, drain the back of the bead, Place it on at the cuticle area, tilting the finger down, tap it right up into that cuticle, watching those sides, bring it down the nail. Tap it across, angling your brush, bring it down. Beautiful. I'm just going to come in with a little bit more now for my apex. Put it in in the back third, tap it in tap 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 bring it down the nail tap 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 bring it down stunning okay and then on the middle nail same again these are just going to be exactly the same on each of the nails guys you might find it a little bit boring but some of you actually like watching ombres because some of you find it quite hard to do an ombre what you must realize is when you put the first bead on you need to put it on at the line where the color ends then you don't see no harsh line tap it in at the back to make it nice and flush with the nail and then just bring it down from the bottom can you see how we're bringing it down from the bottom and then it just slowly fades into the other color and that's what gives you the seamless blend and once you get used to doing a normal ombre with two colours try and do three colour ombres now they look absolutely stunning I absolutely love doing three colour ombres I think they look gorgeous ok tap it into the cuticle bring it down the nail Okay, I'm just going to come in with my apex bead now, placing it on in the back third, tapping it in, bringing it down from the bottom. Beautiful. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a tiny bead of crystal glass up, dip it into this glitter, placing it on at the bottom, 
making it nice and neat at the bottom, turning my brush around and then just fading it up the nail. And we'll have a stunning um, glitter fade going upwards. Beautiful. Just dip it into the raw glitter, just tap it in. And then just bring in those side walls, making it nice and neat. Lovely. Okay, and then we'll come in again with the cover peach. Drain the back of my bead, placing it on at the line, tapping it in at the back, and then just bring it down the nail. Okay, and then we'll come in with another bead. Placing it on in the cuticle area, tilting the finger down, tap it in, bring it down the nail. Tap it across, angling your brush, bring it down. And then we're going to come in with the apex bead. Put it on in the back third. Tap it into place. Bring it down from the bottom. Bring it down. Stunning. Okay, and then the thumb. Same again. Placing it on at the line, tapping it in, bringing it down from the bottom. Tapping it across, angling your brush, bringing it down. Wipe your brush, dip your brush in your acrylic, wipe it twice into the acrylic, that was the monomer, into the acrylic, let it go smooth, drain the back of the bead, place it on at the cuticle area, tap it in, bring it down, tap it across, angle your brush, bring it down the nail, stroke it down using the belly of your brush, making it nice and smooth. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in with my apex bead Placing it on in the back third, tapping it in, bring it down, smooth it out. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and pick up a tiny bead of crystal glass. The tiniest bead, can you see? Oops, where is it? There. Tiny, tiny bead. Tap it in to the uh, glitter and then just bring it down the nail in a little swooshy and then we'll just bring it round into a nice swoosh come in with a little bit more let's bring it round at the top Okay, and then just tap it into place. Okay guys, I'm going to encapsulate these nails now. Okay, so I am coming in with crystal glass. And I'm just going to place it on. Tilt my finger down, just tap it in bring it down the nail, making sure you're encapsulating all that lovely glitter so that when you come to file, you don't file it all away. And then the second bead, tap it in, bring it down the nail. 
some people do it in one bead you can do it in two three four beads it doesn't matter as long as all that glitter is encapsulated it doesn't matter let's tap it down I can just see a tiny little bit of glitter it's a bit shiny make sure that all the glitter goes matte and on these nails all we're going to do is encapsulate the blend so just tap it in at the back bring it down the nail okay and then we're going to encapsulate this one Tap it in, making sure you encapsulate all that glitter. I'm just going to come in with a little bit more at the cuticle area, just a fraction. Tap it in, bring it down the nail. Some people don't put enough um, acrylic on. You have to make sure that you've put enough on to actually give it uh, enough coverage because if you only put a very very thin layer on when you come to file you will file away that glitter darlings okay so this is just for the blend so I'm just gonna tap it in at the back watching those side walls and then just bring it down the nail watch those sides okay and then the thumb nice big bead oops place it on at the cuticle tap it in and just bring it down the nail Come in with another bead, put it on, fade it up, turn my brush around, bring it down the nail. Okay, and then we're going to place a bead on at the bottom, turn our brush around, fade it up. Bring in those side walls, cap the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to come in with a fraction at the top. And just bring it down the nail. You know, sometimes, you know, it just won't bloody come off. Just playing silly buggers. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, ladies, I am just going to put away... Oops. Put away my brush, and then we'll be coming in with our files. If you don't want to see the filing, guys, you can fast forward uh, to the next part, which will be top coat time. I'm going to put my lids on quickly and then I'm going to be coming in with my 100 grit file and get ready to file these now guys okay guys usual routine starting off with the sidewall okay so it's sidewall keeping that file nice and flush against that wall and then same on this side side wall up and over holding the holding the nail firm put it nice and flat against that free edge then we're going to come up one side around the cuticle area 
and down the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to come down the barrel of the nail. Just making sure that I'm in shot for you. Okay, and now this nail. Okay, and then the free edge. Oops. Then we're going to come up one side around the cuticle area and down the other side. Angling your file into that road in between the cuticle and the acrylic. Okay, and then we're going to come down the barrel of the nail. Checking both sides to make sure that it's even. And there's the apex. Can you see that? Beautiful. I absolutely love Glam and Glitz colours. Do you know I've I've actually been my salon's been actually open now for three years and I think I have got every single colour from CJP and I've got at least a hundred of um Glam and Glitz as well. I must have about 50, 50 or 60 um, glitter bells. And then I've started buying NTS. And now I've just become an ambassador for um, Nail and Beauty Excellence as well. So I'm going to have a big collection. Oh, I've also got um, Nail Nails. I've got quite a few of theirs. NSI, who I trained with. I've got quite a lot of theirs as well. So yeah, we've got different uh, different ranges. Okay, and now this nail. Okay, up one side around the cuticle area into that road and down the other side and then we're going to come down the barrel of the nail checking both sides to make sure it's all equal and even and there's your apex again can you see beautiful okay ladies and now the thumb And then the free edge, can you hear that rain? It's absolutely horrendous. Around the cuticle area and down the other side. And then we're just going to come down the barrel of the nail. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of all that dust now. These are going to be super, super shiny and so sparkly with all the glitter. I'll just get rid of this tissue. Okay, I'm going to come in now with my Prep Spray Plus. Well, I thought I was. That's what's wrong with this thing. Oh, my days. Bear with me a second. Whoops. It's better. Okay, and then I'm coming in with my nail brush now and getting rid of all that dust.
Don't forget guys, if there's anything you'd like me to create for you, just send me a colour combination and I will put a, a set together for you. Okay, I'm going to come in now with um, CJP Time to Shine Tack Free Top Glass and top coat these beautiful nails. How stunning is that? Look at this, the shine on it with that glitter as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Once I've finished top coating these uh, ladies, I'm going to put it in my lamp for 60 seconds. And when they come out, I will give you the final reveal. If you do like this set, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you'll receive a notification from me. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you do get some inspiration from the nails that I'm actually putting on for you. I might actually use my e-file in my next video. If any of you are qualified to use an e-file. Don't forget guys, if there's anything you want to see, then just send me a message. Okay, they're going to go into my lamp now for 60 seconds. I'm going to run, every, run through everything that I've used so far today. Okay, so I have used crystal glass. And then I used Glam and Glitz Popsicle. I used Halo um, Acrylic Powder Cover Peach, stunning. I used a a Glitter, um, it's a Summer Sorbet Multimix. And I used my CJP um, Hema Free Time to Shine Top Glass. I used my Premier Gel 100 180 Grip File. And I used CJP Ultra Adhesive Monomer. Okay, these are going to be coming out in a second guys and when they do I will give you the final reveal. We're just going to put some cuticle oil on them and then they'll be ready. Okay, let me just put some of this cuticle oil on, make them look a bit more decent so they're being all dusty. I'm waiting for my, my other new hand uh, that I ordered from Hand Dolly. That should be here because it's been it's been over two weeks now, so hopefully it should be here within no time. That'll be nice. So then I'll have another hand, but this one, then this next hand is is a tanned hand. It's got a bit of a bit of a tan, like it's been on its holidays. <laughs> okay, ladies, there is the final result. I hope you like this set. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you haven't already. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. Take care now. Bye-bye.